Once you've created your site, it will bring you to the page, the next page, your home page, and you can edit your home page. Now this is the name of my site. This will show up on every single one of my pages unless we change that, and I'll show you how to change that in a later video. So over here I've got my home page. I can change the name of my home page. And down below, you can type whatever text you want in there. All right, so once I have this in, or even before I have this in, I can do a few other things. I can change the font of my font. I can bold it. I can italicize it. I can underline it. I can change the color of my font. I can change the te the um, color highlighting of my font. However, I don't particularly like to do that. Um, you can also add a link. So if I wanted to add a link here, I can just type in the link. Or actually, I could type in, yes. and I can't type and I just highlight that and click link and then it automatically makes that a link that will work not while I'm in the editing page but once I leave the editing page I can add a numbered list a bulleted list I can increase or decrease my indent or I can change the alignment this will remove all the formatting and then you also have you can put in some HTML code if you wish however it's relatively limited in what you can actually do so once you're finished editing your site you can click save now you have everything that's on your site let's say you want to go back and edit the site again then you go ahead and hit the pencil and you can edit your site there are other things that you can do with your site. You can add lots of things in here. If you look here on your insert, you can put a picture in here, a link, table of contents. There's a lot of different things that you can do. There's a lot of gadgets. You can put a text box. So if you put a picture in, you want your typing to be next to your picture, you can put a text box in there. You can look at the different gadgets. There's lots of gadgets that you can add to your page. These are featured gadgets. A calendar might be a really nice thing for a teacher to have for a classroom. There's also public gadgets. So if I want the weather on my web page, I can put that in there. And um, put that little gadget in there. And it'll go right there on my website. Um, the other thing that you can add, there are lots of different, well, here's a Google Calendar, so you can create a Google Calendar in there, a chart. If you have anything in Google Drive, you can add it in there, and it will actually show the whole document or the whole presentation, um, whatever you want from your uh, Google Drive account. If you have a Google Plus account and you want to put your photos or photo album in there, that's what I would strongly recommend you do. If you look at my Nepal website, I have photo albums, slideshows in there that um, were created with actually Picasso, but which is now Google+. Plus. Um, you can put groups, maps, and a YouTube video, which is how I put all the YouTube videos into my website. So you can insert a lot of different things into your website. And once you're finished, just make sure that you click Save. And again, then you should be able to show, it should show your, your uh, Google um, app that you put in there, your gadget that you put in there.